Since 2009, the National Park Service has partnered with TAMRAC to present Youth Arts in the Parks. It is a program that both educates and inspires local kids who learn about wildflowers in the area. Pick a favorite and then paint its picture. Mike Tini finally took a hike and found the experts to fill us in. This is just an amazing time to see the explosion of nature here in spring in the New River Gorge. As the ultimate artist, nature often inspires art. So it's natural that the National Park Service partners so well with the Tamarack Marketplace each year as they present Youth Arts in the Parks, where kids from five counties within the New River watershed learn to identify local wildflowers and use any inspiration they find to create art. The art features uh, the wildflowers that we have on our public lands and in the woods near by behind our house and stuff like that. So it's a way for people to really get an idea of how amazing and diverse our natural community is here, right in the New River Gorge. This year, over 200 kids participated and 69 pieces were selected to hang in the lobby of the Tamarack's theater. Five works of art were then selected to be included in Tamarack's next art exhibit opening in May. They were very excited and they went through the full process like any of our adult artists would where we sat down and had a council session with them to discuss with them how they wanted to price the peas, framing of the peas, and then how they wanted it to be mounted and everything. So they really got a whole experience of what it's like to be a professional artist. This program got started in 2009 and for many local kids, contributing artwork is practically tradition. It's amazing to see how these artists grow. Um, many of them are participated year after year, uh, so it's fun to see that. But also helping the students themselves learn more about ecology. One adaptation the program has made through the years is to add a digital critters element. So many students really are doing a lot with working with computers and uh, doing, uh, seeing digital activities and the games they're playing and the shows they're watching, stuff like that. So we added this digital critter element where students use computers to create artwork focused on local wildlife. On May 4th, the Tamarack's Fine Art Gallery will open the doors to the Life Art Aquatic exhibit, which will include the five selected pieces from the kids. And just like all the other professional artists, those pieces will be for sale. So it's just encouraging and, and um, to give them a little bit of confidence to tell them that their work is worth something, um, that they can sell a piece like that in a gallery. They just, you could see um, the confidence come into their eyes and just the shine to know that they were capable of something like this. And as Jody told me, the sap's rise in spring is coming up through the gorge right now. And it is certainly hard not to notice. And if you see a beautiful wildflower and have no idea what it is, maybe ask a kid. You know, when a first grader can walk into a room and see a picture and go, oh, there's a sharp lobed hepatica, that's saying something. You got that right. This is Mike Teeny, Newswatch 4.